Americans aren't asking for much. Just a shot to wake up in the morning and do their best to provide for their families and save for a secure retirement. They should be able to do that with an economic dignity that doesn't force them to have to choose between a bus pass or school supplies, their mortgage or car repair, their child's education and their own retirement. That is the very essence of the economic dignity that every single American deserves. And that is what the Trump budget destroys. Combined with Trump care, this budget destroys $1.4 trillion from Medicaid, the largest payer of long-term care and behavioral health care in our country, aside from being the primary source of health care for families that are working paycheck to paycheck. It takes $200 billion out of SNAP. That's literally billions of meals for families in need. It cuts $72.5 billion out of Social Security, breaking a direct promise that our president made to our people. It takes $1.2 billion out of after-school programs because somehow families in need and kids that need additional help or that need time so that their families can come and actually pick them up are no longer worthy of their government support. Most critically though, this budget is a reflection of now a worldview that has become all too familiar under this administration. One in which there's a system for the wealthy and those who have and an entirely different one for those that not only have fallen on hard times, but that need additional investment to ensure that they can achieve their own potential just like every American should. Because look, what has made America great time and time again, year after year, is its people. And the question that we, as a government, as a society have, are whether we are willing to renew that investment in the next generation, or whether we're willing to cede all of this and hope that the wealthy will take care of everybody else on their own. If you believe that America's greatest resource are our children, and that our people are, with, are gonna drive and thrive in the next generation, then you're willing to invest not only in schools, but in the talent and potential that is every single child is blessed with. We should have a budget that reflects those values and their potential, not one that says for them, if you fall sick or you age or you're unhealthy or unwell, or you fall in bad fortune, then you're on your own. That is Trump's world. That is not what it makes America great. If it's my choice between betting on this administration or our people, I'll go with our people every time.